So with C-SPAN discontinuing analog transmission on AMC 11, which will be 131 West, I've decided to play around with my analog receiver so that I still play around with analog before it's completely gone off C-band satellite. It's gone, been gone off KU-band for years. If you're seeing this uh, video for, for the first time, please uh, subscribe to my channel. I have several up-to-date satellite news and live streams where I cover information about satellite and all media technology. All right, so I've uh, connected uh, an old MACOM um, analog satellite receiver to my uh, satellite dish, my C-band satellite dish, to be able to pick up C-SPAN, because C-SPAN will be ceasing its operation or its broadcast on C-band. I believe it's been on this transponder since 2010 and it uses a full transponder, like one analog channel uses, um, and this is a standard definition too, uh, uses a whole transponder. Now with DVB-S and DVB-S2, uh, your, a lot of modern, um, uh, modern uh, channels that are on satellite, sometimes they fit up to 30, maybe more channels on one transponder. So that's kind of where digital's taken us. Um, with uh, with analog, one channel, digital, 30. Uh, so digital is given a lot more capacity, even though the satellite companies are saying when they lose their spectrum that there's they're gonna not have as, as much room for channels and all that stuff. But uh, so this receiver here, it's on, uh, C-SPAN is on transponder seven. So if you like show up as channel seven, you go to another channel, it'll just go away. This old receiver has, I think 24 uh, transponders on it. Hi. And I'm just using this old Commodore's uh, Amiga monitor volume control here. Now the audio is kind of, and the audio and video is a little bit staticky, and I'm wondering if because this satellite receiver, this old analog satellite receiver is over 30 years old, probably made in the 1980s, and um, even the the um, the connector at the back is it's very finicky, so I have to like press it and move it in and get it at the right spot for it to work. So there's something, uh, I think there's something defective at the back. Of this uh, of this receiver, uh, actually, I, I, oh yeah, you can tune uh, you can tune the audio here too. Forgot about that. But I thought I'd just uh, hook it up, and then what I've done is I've ran a connection over to my software defined radio, uh, just so I can see um, the frequency for uh, C-SPAN, which I believe is. Um, when I'm connecting to my uh, software to find radio, I have to uh, go to the uh, use an L, uh, C band to L band conversion chart. So that means that the, it's not actually the frequency that you're reading on Linksat. You have to read that frequency and then convert it to, uh, I believe this is uh, on L band, this is 1310 uh, megahertz. So you have to convert that to be able to pick it up. So I was able to see a wavy line on my on my GQRX, but I wasn't able to find what I was looking for is the audio. So basically I'd be able to hear the audio carrier with my software to find radio. I think it's important to keep in mind so I'd be able to get that. Um, not the video because I don't have any uh, in Linux. There, I don't think there's any kind of program that will decode analog C-band signal. Um, so, but I was just mainly trying to use GQRX to decode, um, not really decode that, but to tune in the audio for that. But I was unsuccessful in doing that, so um, anyway, I went back to the MACOM receiver, 
which I was able to pick that up. Also was able to uh, help me to set my um, dish mover to where to know where 131 West is because uh, there's no digital channels on 131 West. Actually, there is, but uh, must be spot beam because I cannot get it in Canada. Maybe it's spot beam for the southern uh, part of the U.S. Uh, so yeah, this, this is a C-SPAN. Now, if I had a better satellite receiver, I'd probably get a, I'd probably get a better picture. This, this thing is, is not necessary. This, I'm not going to spend any money on an analog satellite receiver uh, in this day and age, especially with this channel going away in a few months or after the summertime. But if you uh, have one of these things and you have a C-band dish and you want to try to tune this channel and, uh, over the summertime, you got a couple months left to play around with that. I'll read you the model number. The MACOM satellite receiver model 1DUHI. So I will move my satellite dish just to give you an idea of what it would look like when the sat uh, signal comes in and out when, you're mo when the mo dish is moving from east to west. Now some of the older analog receivers, they used to have the dish positioners uh, built into them and even still some people will still use a old satellite receiver to move their satellite dish and you'd have like a, one of the $88 modern digital satellite receivers to watch um, all their programming with. So to move the satellite dish in this modern age I use this super jack uh, power um, super jack mover. So what this does is it sends um, four wires to the actuator of the dish and it controls the actuator so you can position the dish. So here I got 131. Just move it to adjust it. Now with some satellites, if I lock it, there's about five, um, like five or so numbers that it will uh, maybe define tune it. So you'll find the signal and then you might want to move it just a little bit more just to get the more optimum signal so you might get like 50% signal and then you move it a few more and you get like 70% on a lot of receivers 70% is like the uh, is the zenith the amount of signal it all depends on the software in your receiver as well so this is the switch I use so this switch here try to flip it over here it's not your regular uh, it's a satellite digital cable uh, splitter switch so what this will do is is you see there's a pass through so from the satellite dish the import port here you can control the polarity and have other so one receiver will control the polarity and the dissect switch for you and the other switches uh, will just sort of be dummy switches but it will send the signal so you can send it to multiple satellite receivers throughout your house so that's how I get around uh, the uh, to be able to change from vertical to horizontal please check out freesatellitetv.net and also check out the new shop where you can order free satellite TV, LMBs, receivers, and dishes, all sorts of things for your free-to-air needs over at the freesatellitetv.net shop. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and on my other social media platforms where you can keep up to date with my latest videos and uploads and live streams that I put up on the internet so that you can learn about media technology, satellite technology, just technology in general. And follow me over at www.robbystrike.com.